Hi, it's Linda, and this is Egg. Are you eating something? So last week I tried to make Egg a costume and it was a total fail, so I'm gonna actually try to make it properly this time. So what I did this time was that I printed out a bunch of these templates for making a egg-shaped polyhedron. What I'm gonna do is to cut each of these out and then I'm gonna use this um, dollar store foam and I'm gonna try and heat treat it and make a little egg shaped out of it and hopefully I can wear it. Oh baby, I'm sorry. Like that. Oh no, my sweetheart. Sorry, boo boo. Oh no. The template I used is from twilighthedra.net. As you can see, there are two circles connected to 12 spines, which form the body of the egg. Each of the three spines are connected and individually presented on a piece of paper. And there are also the top and bottom, so the two circles. Okay, so I'm gonna start with cutting it out. And my scissors. I always think I have treats with me. Eggy, do you have eye buggy? Okay, let's clean your eye buggy. You're not even in it. Making these videos has made me realize how much I use my egg voice. I can't believe he deals with this every day. So after this, I spent the next 20 minutes cutting out the shapes. Ta da! Okay, so. Then I spent the next hour using the paper template to cut the foam. So now that I cut out each piece to make the egg, so what I need to do for each of the foam pieces is I need to ultimately stick each of the corners to the next corner like this. And in order to do that, I actually need to clean out the edges. I can either cut them or um, I can use a Dremel to file it down at an angle like this and on this side like this so that I can close them and create a fairly nice scene. So let's try that. I then repeated this step for each of the foam pieces. This is quite a tedious process but it's really worth it because it really does minimalize the seams where each of the pieces connect. After cleaning up the edges, I moved on to shaping the foam. I first started with scoring the foam so that it could be more easily bent. After scoring the foam, I heat treated it with a heat gun. What this does is that it closes the pores. Oh, I'm just interested. It closes the pores of the outer layer a little bit by melting it. And most importantly, after it melts, I guess it becomes more hardened. And when you fold it, it actually retains that shape much better. So when you make put all the pieces of foam together to make the 3D object, instead of looking like a flat-faced polyhedron, it actually looks more egg-shaped. Another thing is that when using a heat gun with foam indoors, should always make sure that your room is well ventilated because there is a smell. So some fumes are definitely being released. After heat treating each of the foam pieces, I then moved on to gluing it together. Be careful when choosing the adhesive you're going to use because some types of adhesive can actually melt the foam. Alternatively, you can create a layer between the foam and the adhesive by using something like Mod Podge and this will prevent the foam from melting when you're using your adhesive. It's not food, baby. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue it all together. I'm just using some super glue so that it will be fast.
I didn't sand this part enough, so as you can see, the angle just... I can't glue them together because it's just being pushed open, but that's okay. This is just gonna be one of those quick and dirty builds. I don't think Egg's gonna care <laughs> too much. Do you, Eggy? So, not bad. It's, it's coming along. It's definitely in an egg shape. Then I repeated the gluing process for the other three pieces. Now I'm just connecting the top of the egg to the body with glue. I decided not to use the curved body piece you can see on the side because I wanted to leave a gap for egg's head to enter the costume. This last piece looks a little bit too flat, so here I am trying to make it a little bit more rounded. Remember this gluing process taking me, I think, more than an hour? I wanted Egg's head to be able to poke out of the costume in the front, so I'm tracing a circle to cut out so Egg's head can poke out from that hole. To cut out the hole, I first used a box cutter to trace out the shape, and then I moved on to using scissors because I realized that this foam is actually really thin and it's much easier cutting it with a pair of scissors instead. After cutting out the hole I had Egg try it on, he was surprisingly cooperative for this part and clearly this didn't really fit too well so I had to trim off the bottom a little bit and also enlarge the hole so the Egg could sit more comfortably around Egg's head. After making the adjustments I had Egg try it on again. I didn't want Egg to get impatient, and because he was being such a good boy, I started using treats at this point. As you can see, it still needed a little bit more trimming on the bottom. I wanted to fit more vertically on Egg's head, but right now, it can only fit at an angle. After getting the shape I wanted, I started filling the seams with paper clay. This paper clay is a little bit dry, so I had a bowl of water on the side to rehydrate it. I'm first pressing the paper clay onto my board and then using a knife to scoop it up so I can put a thin layer onto the seams. I tried to get the paper clay to be as thin as possible so I could do less sanding at the end and to blend it as much as I can into the seams but it was pretty hard to make the paper clay thin, so I ended up having to do a lot of sanding afterwards. I repeated this process for each of the seams. Then I packed a lot of the paper clay onto the top part, and I'm using scissors to sculpt a cracked egg effect. Then I gently sanded the surface of the paper clay to give it a smoother finish. And I also sanded down the parts where the paper clay meets the foam so they can have a very smooth transition. Next, I sealed the paper clay with a layer of Mod Podge so that I could have a smooth layer to paint on and so the paper clay would not flake off. Next step, I painted the entire egg white and here is egg inspecting in case the paint is food. 
I use gray and black paint on the cracks to make it more clear and give it a cartoonish look. And here it is, all done! I forgot to film this part, but next I attached a piece of string and a plastic buckle to the back of the egg to hold egg's head in while he wore it. And here's the final product! Here's Egg being a good boy and modeling it very well. I don't think Egg finds it that comfortable because whenever I put on a new piece of clothing that he doesn't like, he stands really, really still. And I think in this case, that is exactly what he's doing. And that was making Egg's Egg costume. This is Egg wearing it in motion. I don't think it's very comfortable to walk in even after I put a snood under to pat it. <laughs> it definitely doesn't hold very well. Thank you so much for watching! Eggy rates this costume a zero.